Hello. Today I'm going to talk to you about um, writing assessment, writing assignment and rubric for Unit 8. Um, this is informed opinions through causal causal chains. Um, writing a causal argument is not the easiest thing to do because a lot of times what we think is a cause and effect really isn't. It's just this came before that. So one of the big things you have to pay attention to for this particular writing assignment is that you're not basically including a fallacy in your writing. Um, and if you're not sure what that means, you have two different um, foundations exercises um, that talk about fallacies and avoiding fallacies. And so um, go back and review those before you get busy on this particular paper. For the paper, okay, I'm going to just walk through the assignment sheet. Um, you have this on NROC and um, I just like to give you a little bit of a heads up. Here's what's going on. Here's some things to avoid. Um, so you'll have more practice and things when you walk through the actual writing part of um, NROC Unit 8. So this is a multi-paragraph essay um, identifying at least two of your personal or lifestyle choices and explaining the positive and or negative effects they have on the environment. Okay. So for instance, um, I have been a recycler um, since the early 80s. Um, I lived on the West Coast, lived in Anchorage, Alaska for a while, and everybody is big into recycling and um, protecting the environment and stuff. And of course, when you look around up there and you see the beauty and the, ama ama the, the, the amazing majesty of it all, you want to protect it. Um, and so one of those choices for me is to recycle everything that I can. And so um, that particular problem, I'm trying to go, you know, plastic free, which is difficult um, and trying to keep plastic out of our oceans. And so my choice is to buy as I can um, in glass. Um, glass recycles much easier than plastic does. It's cheaper to recycle and it has a longer life. Um, and the other thing is, um, it impacts everybody. Okay, my choice to recycle impacts the, the environment as a whole. It in, impacts my environment um, here regularly, and the cat's going to give us fits, so it's okay. Um, he just thinks he's lonely. Anyway, this particular paper should be at least four paragraphs. I would say six, but four is good. Um, you need to have at least two personal choices. Um, and you can have them both be positive, they can both be negative, maybe things you're trying to change, and this is a good way for you to research and find out why you should change a particular habit. Um, and you need to connect your choices to how it impacts the environment and how other people could possibly benefit from doing the same thing you're doing or from the change that you want to make. Okay. So you have to make it interesting for your reader and you have to make it so that other people are impacted um, or can see how they could be impacted by your own choices. Okay. So each of the paragraphs should include a personal choice, the effects of this choice, and the points that show why this information matters to your reader. Um, you should have at least two body paragraphs depending upon how many personal choices you plan to, to discuss. Um, you need an introduction that is attention grabbing and reveals your argument, and that's where your thesis goes, and a conclusion that offers some memorable final thoughts on the connection between individuals and their environments. So if you're telling me two different things, that means you're going to need four paragraphs, an intro, your um, choice, your second choice, and then a conclusion. So not too horrible, right? Um, make sure that you have all the pieces that you need for writing this. Um, please take the journal exercises in NROC seriously. Um, they are very helpful if you follow the directions. Um, you can almost have your paper written before you really get down to writing. Um, make sure that you're being honest. Make sure that you're exploring what you need to explore, that you're doing um, enough of the foundations exercises that um, you can get through the test and um, the paper itself is not horrible hard um, but 
it is four paragraphs at least. Um, if you have more choices that you want to give us, then that's fine too. You have space for that in the writing. Um, but make sure that you are following the directions, um, that you're, you're giving me at least two of your personal choices and how they impact the environment. Um, I've had students in the past um, talk about um, trying to use public transportation more um, to decrease the carbon footprint, um, trying to quit smoking, trying to, um, you know, drink more water, that kind of stuff. Um, and that's all up for grabs. So however you want to approach this is great. Um, just make sure that you're following the directions and doing all the pieces. Um, my best advice to you in these is read it out loud. Before you hit send, read it out loud, fix it, make it make it sound like formal English. Um, this is not a I write how I talk kind of thing. Um, we're trying to get you away from that a little bit. Um, and we all have to do that. It's not just um, new students or whatever, it's all of us, okay? When we talk, we can always back up and, and explain things to our re our listener. Um, can't always do that when you're writing, though. And so you need to be clear and coherent, and you need to make sure that you're following all the pieces. Um, so settle in, do what you got to do, um, and do your best work. Let me know if you have questions. You have my email.